sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. You're looking at a DC bias T. So, now these are coming in a, like aluminum case, which is really nice. And it looks really good, like uh, pretty good con uh, construction. So anyway, you see these a lot online. Some people use them, obviously some don't. But uh, it's good between 1 and 50 volts, half an amp. Between 10 megahertz and 6 gigahertz. Uh, your RF comes in here, say to your dongle. Then this goes to <clears throat> an amp or an LNA or whatever you uh, need the power. So, so anyway, I wanted to see what's inside one of these. Now, this I just took these screws out and didn't even open it up yet. So, before we get there, this is how you power it. You have your hot and your ground over here. So, definitely a different way of uh, powering these guys. So let's open it up. There's the back side of that. And here's what the inside looks like. So there it is. It, it is a nice uh, enclosure, that's for sure. Nice detail on it. Nice and smooth. No dense scratches. Nice SMA connector on each side. So, one thing I don't see is an LED, which I guess you could actually add one if you really wanted to, and drill a hole maybe in this to kind of point it right out, but really no need to do that. But at least you would know if it's getting power. So anyway, I thought I would share this to let people know what's inside one of these and what it looks like. So I'll throw a link in the description to my website for a couple photos and the video. And I can throw a link in there of where I got this. But uh, we'll have to try it out and see if it works. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another